chilly morning to you. It feels like fall. Didn't last long, and it's a smaller mine. Only went down 3,000 feet deep. Best way to do this is just look down at the bottom of the slope, and I just want you to think about those miners that were trapped down here for those 12 days. Okay. Or just their daily jobs. Okay, three, two, one. So it would be this dark down here, minus the light coming from the door. And all they had for a little lamp, oh wait. All they had for a little lamp was similar to that, but these are LED lights, so your lamp back then would be 10 times worse than this. Yeah. And uh, your modern day lamp, if I can find it, shines all the way down to the bottom there. Now, let's say that we're in a group right now, there'd be a group of 10 in this little slope here. And one at a time we would have our lamp on, so right now I would have my lamp on, and everyone else in the group would be mining. And after my hour's down, I'd turn my lamp off, and someone else in the group would turn theirs on, and I would just be mining. And they did that just to conserve their batteries. An interesting tour of the mines here in Spring Hill where so many men died. Nearly 500 died just in the explosions and earthquakes, plus many more just from everyday workplace accidents, falling rocks, all kinds of things could happen. Such a deadly job. The legacy of the fossil fuel industry is deadly and dirty. I left a gift for Anne Murray at the Anne Murray Center this morning. Just a personalized business card with a note on the back saying that my audiences love her, which they do, especially right here at High Crest and Spring Hill, which is one of just two venues in the Maritimes where I've played on each tour. This is my sixth show here. I'm ever so grateful. What kind of a fella goes to a coal mine in a white shirt? Huh? I managed to come out unblemished though. I mean, the standards are a little higher now than they were back in the days of the explosions and the big bump. But a lot of history here in Spring Hill. I also stopped at the Ann Murray Center to leave her one of my cards with a little personalized note on the back. I always joke that I always invite Ann Murray to my show, but she never shows up. One of these days. I want to sing an Ann Murray song, how could I not, while here in Spring Hill. This is called Snowbirds. Beneath its snowy mantle, gold and green, the unborn grass flies waiting for its coat there to turn green. And if I could, you know that I would fly away. Yes, I would. I would fly away with you. Thank you, Spring Hill. All righty, we made it to my next campground, the Glooscap Campground, just outside of Parsboro, Nova Scotia. Let's have a look around. A 
sincere thank you to Bev and the residents at High Crest and Spring Hill for hosting me yet again, a top supporter here in the Maritimes. I look forward to doing it again. Cheers. Once again, the Bay of Fundy and the tide is coming in about two hours until high tide. Undoubtedly the video doesn't do the scale justice, but there's quite a cliff there and a hole between the rocks. I'm gonna go check that out with you. These are actively eroding cliffs. I've heard some pebbles coming down and more than just pebbles come down. I mean, these big boulders come down too. She's a hundred foot cliff for sure. You can see the high mark here and there's others further up the beach. Each day is slightly unique depending on the storms and weather. And that big rock there also shows the averages. An authentic Nova Scotia sea cave. Let's see if I can get through. Awesome. Whew. Merciful shade here in the cave. A lot cooler. The sun is setting that way though. This shadow is shrinking. So many quartzite veins inside of this cave in the black rock. She's beautiful. We've spent a good deal of time underground today. Well, I'm gonna to work my way back down the beach and have my dinner. <laughs>